First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Messiah Yahweh, who this world calls God, ignorantly, in the name of Yahweh Shah, who this world calls Jesus, ignorantly, in the Holy Spirit, in Paleo Hebrew, it's called Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rahach Kodash, double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity and peace, blessings and healings on to the elect and the multitude. Because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today I want to talk about this. This um, article came out yesterday. And we know that this is a part of prophecy. Okay. It says, UN says gates of hell, digital IDs will be mandatory to participate in society. And so lucky if we're being on the phone. But it is what it is. We've got to do the work. It says, um, the United Nations has announced plans to roll out digital IDs worldwide by the year 2030 and you know this timeline might get pushed up you know what i'm saying because these people are losing power okay they're losing the narrative you know especially what's happening over there in israel okay everybody knows that they haven't changed and they want to rule the world even though they already ruled the world they're trying to enslave every human being on the earth this is why they want to do this you know what i'm saying but this is not going to be accomplished you know what I'm saying? It says, Revelations 12 and 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. There's people on earth that ain't going to do this shit, and they'd rather die than worship the beast. Okay, and there's people on the earth today that's not going to cooperate whatsoever with this. Okay, MOTB, beast system that they're setting up. Um, therefore rejoice you heavens and ye that dwell in them. This is a warning. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down onto you having great wrath. These people man. Okay. It's not talking about Satan. It's talking about a race of people. For the devil has come down onto you having great wrath. Because what? He knoweth that he had but a short time. These people was not supposed to rule forever. Okay. They already had their time. The renaissance period. Up to now and whenever Yahweh Basham Meshah or Yahweh tells Yahweh Shah to row. Okay, because nobody knows the time and the hour. Only the Father does. But we see the signs, okay? You just had an eclipse. Okay, we're over there in the Middle East. You know what I'm saying? I just saw an article where Russia's going to help Hezbollah. You know what I'm saying? Australia's going to go over there to Israel. Okay, North Korea is going to arm Hezbollah too. Okay, so there's a lot of things taking place. These are signs of the end. And while all this is happening, the devil's going to try to bring out the MOTB. <laughs> you know, but he's going to fail miserably. Now, um, I said that they wasn't going to rule forever, right? So let's go to um, Revelations 20. It says, um, I'm just going to get the point. Revelations 20 and 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more. Till the thousand years should be fulfilled. Okay, this is when Rome fell. Okay, no deception was on the earth. And then they came back into power. Okay, in the Renaissance period. And deception took over the whole world again. It says, should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosened a little season. So... These people was only supposed to rule for a little season. It's not It's not a forever rulership, point blank, period. Okay, Babylon had to get set up. The Israelites had to be in slavery in America. Okay, this, this was all prophecy. All this had to take place. Yahweh coming back and saving his people. Okay, from these people. Okay, the most wickedest, the most violent people ever to exist. Going down, it says... And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosened out of his prison. So the so-called white man was loosened out of his prison, man. Okay, because he didn't rule in the Dark Ages. That's why they call it the Dark Ages. They say no light came from it because we ruled. And just to get some um, stuff on that, I got a lot of pictures of in those times. You know, these are all in books, you know. These are all in European times or in Dark Ages times. Okay. Well, I know you can't see them well, but 
you know, you can see them good enough. You know. Let me try to... No, I ain't gonna do that. So, this is just, you know, so you can get an explanation. You know. All European time, for Dark Age times. You know, Cardinal Albert at Breitberg being chastised by Ulrich von Hutten. Von Hutten was a German scholar, poet, and reformer, and also an outspoken critic of the Roman Catholic Church. Okay, the so-called white man came back into power around this time, and um, he acted as a bridge between the humanists and the Lutheran Reformation. He was a leader of the Imperial Knights of the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, because, you know, black people ruled um, the Holy Roman Empire. Point blank, period. You know. And white people don't like to hear this, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, it don't mean nothing to us. All we care about is the truth. And they don't care about the truth. They care about, you know, narratives and shit. It says, um, the little dark Welshman, the Scot, and black Selks to the west of the Shannon River in Ireland. This is why, okay, the so-called white man, I'm talking about, you know, Edom. They don't like the, uh, Irish. Okay, because there are people that they don't like the Italians. Because there are people, even though they look white, okay, but they're of our nation, you know what I'm saying? This is why they call them, you know, what they call them. Um, as well as the same, um, lead them in in Brittany and Equitaine in France. The Celsius of the Carney Islands and the Barbers in Africa are probably all the remnant of the race. So this is talking about Israelites, man. You know, Israelites ruled Europe in this time. So that's all I needed to get it at, you know. So these people was loosened out of their prison. You know what I'm saying? They came back into power and they made the beast that was prophesied in Revelations 13 and Revelation 17. Okay, that beast was seven heads and ten horns. Point blank period. And that beast with seven heads and ten horns was meant to be ruled by Edom, who was a so-called white man, a so-called Jewish man, and they was to fall to who this world calls Jesus Christ, which who we call Yahweh. Yahweh is going to take them out of power, man. Violently, I might add. It says, which will be mandatory for all people who wish to participate in society. So, doesn't this remind you of Revelation 13? Okay. Cause of fall, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. You know, the United Nations Development Program is launching the project to advance the agenda, which will ensure all members of a public will be forced to participate in the scheme. Forced to participate in the scheme. So this might be the MOTB, man. Okay, but they're trying to hide it, trying to say it's something else. And who knows what false flags. You know what I'm saying? What evil agendas they got up their sleeve and which is going to bring this in. We already know what's coming. It's prophesied about. You know? The project is based on what's known as Digital Public Infrastructure, a.k.a. DPI. So I don't need to get no more of this. If you want to um, get this article, type this in in Google. And if it don't pop up in Google, use another search browser that isn't controlled. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it will pop up. But um, I want to get this. Okay, this came out February 2022. It says the WEF, we all know that's run by um, Swabi Ear. Advanced Digital Agency, the Powers of Data Intermediaries, Insight Report, February 2022. And you see their plans, okay? Um, so it says digital ID, it says now. Consent. Traditional intermediaries and users consent. Web browsers, apps, mobile devices. This is why every time you do something, they tell you to agree to it. It's like a contract. Every time you play a game, you got this big ass list. You got to agree to it so you can play the game. Every time you, you know what I'm saying? Evolution. Shift control to user. Personal data stores on device data stores. And advanced data intermediaries, smart devices, agents, and we got smart devices now, right? On our TV, we got smartphones, 
smart refrigerators, smart cars, right? So what's the next step? The future. Next level of data intermediaries embedded in body. Embedded in body. Okay? <laughs> Revelations 13. The Karagma. Um, devices, homes, cities. The fundamental level of data ID proofing and verified attributes remain. I am really who I say I am. Okay? And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to control every aspect. You ain't going to be able to do nothing. Your money's going to be on a um, time limit. Go watch that movie Time with Justin Timberlake. That's what it's going to be like. So I don't need to read no more of this. Let's go to Revelations 13 and call it a day, man. Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls the fall both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive uh, M-A-R-K in the right hand. Or in their foreheads. Who's working on the one in your forehead? Elon Musk, Neutralink. He's not your friend. Okay. Y'all look at him as like Donald Trump. Donald Trump is controlled just like he is. Okay. They're playing you like a fiddle. Um, and that no man might buy or sell. So this is linked to buying and selling. Okay. Say if he had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. So let me get something real quick. Just to prove it prove to you that actually let me go back to this this is the the MOTB okay this little thing right here is going to be embedded in body okay and you're going to be able to buy and sell with it now can you buy and sell with this in your hand let's look it up okay let's go right here let's just type it in in Google Salakia, let me do this. Salaki, I'm going to get it, man. If it don't pop up right here, then, uh, well, here you go. The implant that lets you pay with your hand. And they already got Amazon One Pay. Where you scan your hand at the motherfucking thing. You know. So go look up this article, man. So you know that I'm not lying. I ain't going to read it. You know, you can look it up yourself. Do your due, dil due diligence. Woman pays for groceries at Whole Foods using a chip implant in her hand. You know, so this is the MOTV, man. You can now get a payment chip and plant it in your hand for $200. And they're probably going to make it free. They're probably going to, that's why they're shutting down. Well, this is why, let me backtrack a little bit. This is why they're destroying all the food processing plants. They're the, um, about to, you know, bring out CBDCs. They're about to control the water, the food, the gas. You know what I'm saying? They're about to have a lot of false flags. You know what I'm saying? Um, all hell going to break loose and then they're going to come in as the saviors. A lot of people going to go bankrupt. A lot of people losing their jobs. You know what I'm saying? In California, they're doing supplemental income for every Californian. Or well, There's a bill out there that they're about to you know, pass. You know what I'm saying? So, all this is leading up to the MOTB. But at the same time, Armageddon is going to take place. Okay, point blank period. So we at the end, repent, 
Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Jesus and taught me the truth. And call for light, how about Shabbat Shabbat Shabbat